Mr. Junedi Nosseron was changing the tire of his car in his car park when he looked up to see an aircraft flying unusually. Seconds later, the plane nosedived and crashed into an oil palm plantation in Kempang Top Muda. In Kepa, Selenga. Mr. Junedi said on February 13 that he was facing the plantation when light aircraft model Gabriel BK-160 spiraled out of control and crashed at 1.30 p.m. Something was off with the way the aircraft was flying, said the 55-year-old. Suddenly it nosedived into the ground. I rushed to the crash site and saw that the plane was already in pieces and slightly buried in the ground. I tried to look for the victims, but I could not see anyone, he told Bernoma at the scene. Fruit seller Safian Hodi Obos, 45, said he heard a very loud explosion in the air before the crash. When I looked up, I saw fragments of the plane flying everywhere before it crashed into the ground, he said. A video has gone viral showing parts of the plane flying in the air before falling to the ground leading to the theory that it blew up in mid-air before the crash. Another villager city Zubeda Solin, 60, who lives 150m from the crash site, said she thought it was an earthquake when she heard a loud explosion and felt a tremor. I was just relaxing at home when suddenly it felt like an earthquake had hit. I ran outside, but there was nothing. Only later, I heard people talking about a plane crash, she said. The Civil Aviation Authority of Malaysia has confirmed that two people, including the pilot, were on board the light aircraft that crashed in Kappa on February 13.